Okay, so in this example here, we're going to be talking about the rational root theorem. And all the rational root theorem is, you're simply trying to find possible rational roots of a polynomial. Now, when you do this, you're going to come up with a list of possible rational roots of a polynomial, but that does not mean that they are for sure going to be roots of that polynomial. It just means that they're going to be real roots and there is a possibility that they could be a root of the polynomial. Now, in order to do that, you're going to do factors of your constant over factors of your leading coefficient. And I have that written right here. And most of the time, that's going to be identified as P over Q, where P is representing factors of your constant and Q is representing factors of your leading coefficient. And I wrote down here, always written as plus or minus. So when you write down your factors, you want to make sure that you're writing them down as plus or minus, because again, we're talking about factors of the polynomial. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at our first example, because it's going to make a lot more sense once we go through the problem. So here's our first example. And the first thing that you want to do, you want to identify your leading coefficient. So in this particular problem here, my leading coefficient is five right here. And I know that that's going to be my leading coefficient because I'm looking at the variable with the highest exponent value. In this case here, the variable with the highest exponent value is right here, x to the third power. Meaning this polynomial that we're looking at right here has a degree of three. So to identify your leading coefficient, look to the variable with the highest exponent value, and it's going to be the number in front, in this case here, five. So that's my leading coefficient. My constant is negative four, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and create my factors. I'll divide them out and I'll get my list. So for example, I have to do factors of my constant. So I'm gonna write here P over Q is equal to, well, doing factors of my constant, I'm gonna get plus or minus one, plus or minus two, and then plus or minus four. And then doing my leading coefficient, I will get plus or minus one, and then plus or minus five, okay? So from here, you want to divide it out. So I'm going to start here on one and then start dividing it out. So I'm going to do one divided by one, I get one. So here's my first one, plus or minus one, comma, do the next one, one divided by five, I get plus or minus one over five. Okay, then move on. I'll go into the two. Two divided by one, that's plus or minus two. Moving on, two divided by five, that is plus or minus two over five. And then the last one, I do four divided by one, I get plus or minus four. And then finally, four divided by five, I get plus or minus four over five. Okay, and that's it. So these are my possible rational roots of this polynomial. Again, it's not for sure that these are going to be zeros, but it's a possibility. And if you wanted to check, you would use synthetic division to see if you get a remainder of zero, but that's for another video. So again, all we're gonna talk about here is how to get the list of possible rational zeros, and here they are. All right, let's try another example. So here's my next example, and your first step, identify the leading coefficient. Well, be careful here because this polynomial is not in order. Notice that I'm going from x squared to x cubed. So my leading coefficient here is going to be one. Okay, right here. Now, technically you would have gotten away with it if you said that your leading coefficient was one right here because again, it's gonna be one in both spots. But if this was another number, let's say this was like a two here, all right, and you said that your leading coefficient was two, you're gonna get the problem wrong. So you wanna make sure to check the order of the polynomial, that's very important. I can see here that my leading coefficient is actually going to be the second term, not the first term. So again, your leading coefficient is right here and we're gonna be using one, okay? Now my constant is right here, negative 27. So we're gonna do P over Q, and again, P is going to be factors of your constant. So starting with negative 27, we get plus or minus one, plus or minus three, plus or minus nine, and then plus or minus 27, okay? So those are gonna be the factors of my constant. Then doing the factors of my leading coefficient, well, that's easy, plus or minus one. So this problem is actually pretty much done because I'm gonna end up dividing everything by one. And I know that I'm just gonna return what I have on my numerator right here. So if you just wanna box that in right here, you're actually done, okay? Those are gonna be the possible rational roots of this polynomial, that problem's done, okay? All right, let's try two more examples. So here's my next example. Again, make sure that you check the polynomial, see if it's going in order and it's not here. 
So my leading coefficient here is not going to be four, it's actually gonna be negative four. But again, technically, since we're writing it as plus or minus, it actually wouldn't matter here. But again, please make sure you are checking the order. So my leading coefficient is negative four and my constant is going to be one, okay? So doing P over Q or factors of my constant over factors of my leading coefficient, I get plus or minus one. And then going on to the leading coefficient, I get plus or minus one, plus or minus two, and then plus or minus four, okay? Dividing that out, I get plus or minus one, plus or minus a half, and then I get plus or minus a quarter, okay? And that's it, okay, that's done. So these are the possible rational roots of that polynomial. Let's go ahead and try one more problem. So here's our last problem. Check the order. Are you going in order? And I am, right? I can see here that I have x cubed right at the beginning. That's going to be my leading coefficient. So in this case here, my leading coefficient is going to be five. This one we did not have to rearrange, okay? Now my constant is going to be one. So writing this out, we get p over q equal to factors of my constant, plus or minus one. That was easy, right? Now factors of my leading coefficient, I get plus or minus one, and then I get plus or minus five. So from here, all we have to do is divide it out. We get plus or minus one, and then we get plus or minus one over five, okay? And that's done. So these are the possible rational roots of this polynomial, okay? So that is it, that is the rational root theorem. There's really not much to it. Um, you can actually build upon this though. You can use it to factor higher degree polynomials, but that's gonna be for another video. In this video here, all we wanted to do was find the possible rational roots of the polynomial, and that's how you do it. So if you gained anything from the video or if the video helped you in any way, if you could just go ahead and give it a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, that way you get more math videos in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.